Hello and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking through the festival playlist in Forza Horizon 5 and how you can actually achieve 100% completion with it. So I have done something similar on Forza Horizon 4 but things have changed, uh, there are new additions to it, obviously ones that were around in Horizon 4 have been tweaked and altered in some cases, it's not exactly the same as before and I have already received a few questions about how to complete certain parts so I'm going to cover literally everything. I'm not going to go into sort of specifics for the, this week's challenges for instance i'm just going to cover it as a whole on what you have to do for all of the challenges if some of them aren't as sort of self-explanatory as they should be for instance so hopefully this should help you out not just for this month's festival playlist or this week's challenges but for the entirety and length of horizon 5 sort of lifespan so without further ado we're going to get stuck in first of all on the series sort of main page now currently we're on series one and this is where it tracks your overall progress so all of your each week's score will add up to the points shown on this screen so it will probably take you on the second week before you can get the first car for instance here the amg1 and by the last week you'll be pretty much able to unlock the mclaren f1 you won't be able to unlock the mclaren f1 for instance on the second week because there's only about 64 points i think per week and of Obviously, that's not enough to achieve the total 180 points. Now we're going to go into the individual seasons. So there are, of course, four of them, as there was before. And then at the very end, it shows you what will come next month as well. And there's still a season countdown in the top right hand corner telling you how long you've got to complete everything. So currently, the season we're on is summer. But there is, of course, autumn, winter and spring, which all offer different cars and different prizes. Now, summer here, for instance, is a total of 64 points. The remainder are 61 points total. And it tells you there the two prizes that you can win. So two different cars. And obviously, you just got to complete all of the challenges to unlock them. So the first challenge is the Forzathon. Now, I do a weekly Forzathon guide, so if you ever struggle with that, you can just track down the video on the channel here. But these are very simple and straightforward. So there's normally three challenges in either a specific car or a specific car class to complete them all. Uh, like I said, they're all covered on my channel. There is also the Forzathon daily challenges. So this is a challenge. A new challenge arrives each day. They're very specific. They get you one point towards the overall total, but they also provide you with Forzathon points. Now those Forzathon points earned in the Forzathon and the daily challenges can be spent in the Forzathon shop as well as what you earn in the Horizon Arcade. Now this is pretty much like the old Forzathon sort of live events in Forza Horizon 4 but they have been tweaked. Now there are two variants that you can do with this, so one of which is a standard Horizon Arcade, which is where it might ask you to smash a load of piñatas, which is new, or get a set number of drift skills, or hit a certain score on a danger sign, etc. And then there is also the Horizon Arcade Drift, which is all based around getting drift points to a destination, getting a certain score on a drift zone, or getting a certain number of e-drift skills. I prefer to do the drift one as it's actually a little bit easier but the problem I struggle with is just the numbers there doesn't seem to be a lot of people that like to sort of join this mode which is a bit unfortunate because it gets you more Forza Thumb points and of course you have to complete it to earn points towards the overall festival playlist. Now the next one is called the trial event so this again is the same as horizon 4 so it's where you and five other people join up against ai driver tiles which are on unbeatable difficulty so once you hit a on it you can then find a team to do this specific challenge it's not as simple as just sort of hopping into an, an open race if you will so it also tells you what your win at the bottom but if you press down the right thumbstick you can see all of the restrictions now this goes for everything because they have now added restrictions onto a lot more things than they did in horizon for such as the speed traps and PR stunts. So in this one you need a B class pickup and 4x4 category of which you can filter all of the cars you have in your garage or the auto show to do so. Now the next one is the seasonal playground games event so this is things like flag rush, um, sort of capture the flag etc. Again if you hit A on this you will find a team. It's not as simple as just going into a random playground games sort of event, you have to do it specifically that way. 
um, and it will take you to the sort of actual competition for it uh, to complete this week's one so hit a and find a team do it that way and make sure you've got a good enough car that meets the criteria for this one in order to sort of do well in it really but they're not that difficult but you do have to do all three of the challenges you don't have to win or anything just compete and complete it basically now we're moving on to the pr stunts so this week there are three of them now it may vary sometimes it might be a speed trap speed zone and danger sign or this week it's a speed zone danger sign and drift zone so first of all the danger sign one here Again, if you hit A on it, it will take you to the specific danger sign that you need to use. And now they have car restrictions on them. So this has to be an S1 class retro sports car. And if you have a look to the right of the three star score there, it will show you what score you need to get to complete this. So 1,263 feet. It's the exact same when it comes to the speed zone. So here you need to use an A class BMW. Like I said, this was never a thing before. You could just use whichever car you want. Hit A and it will take you to the speed zone. And on the right next to the three star score, it tells you you need 106 mile an hour to complete this exact challenge. Likewise with the drift zone as well. So you need to use a drift car for this one. Now for this, I just used um, one of the uh, Formula drift cars because it's all I can really think about as a drift car. It's not very specific, which is a bit annoying. Hopefully um, sort of any future ones are a bit clearer than that. But again, you just need 90,000 skill score on that one to complete the challenge using uh, a drift car. Like I said, I used a Formula drift one for this. So if that ever crops up again, that's your safe bet. Now we're moving on to the races. So there are three championships here, all of which need to be completed on highly skilled driver tar level. So again, you've got all of your restrictions on them and the prizes that you can win. Normally there are some cool cars and there's a couple on here as well and a horn, which isn't as cool. But if you hit A on it, it will of course take you to the race that you need to go to. And in fact, it shows all of the racing events that are specific to the festival playlist. As you can see, they are colored with like an orange background, different to the normal ones. So once you go onto this, you have to make sure that the AI driver tar level is highly skilled. Otherwise, if it's any lower than that, you will not win the prize, even if you do win the championship. If it's higher than that difficulty, then you're you're fine. If you want to do it on expert or unbeatable, that's up to you. You will you won't earn anything extra, but you will of course complete the challenge. But like I said, it needs to be on highly skilled driver tars and you need to win the championship. So there are three races in the championship. If you win two of them and come second in the third race, for instance, you should be fine. As long as your overall championship points are at the top, then you'll basically have completed the challenge. So you do that for all of them. And of course, that is something that will change each week. Um, you know, it could be any sort of racing challenge. Next is the Horizon Tour, which is again another co-op championship, very much so like the trial event, except you're not playing against AI, which are on unbeatable difficulty. It's just you and five other players against sort of general level AI. Now, the difference between this and the, the sort of trial event is between each race, you basically drive to the start of the next one. It's just a little feature, but that's really the main difference. And in order to complete this challenge, you have to, I believe, actually win the event, which is actually pretty easy to be fair, uh, as long as everyone on the team sort of plays their part, so to speak. Next is something new, which is a treasure hunt. So I've already done a guide for the first week's one. Now this won't be every week. This will be sort of once every couple of weeks you'll see a treasure hunt pop up. But again, it's a very simple premise. So it's a two-parter. So first of all, you have to complete whatever the challenge might be. For instance, get two stars on a jump in a specific car like this week's one was. And then it will show you a rough location, almost like a barn find, to find a treasure chest. You have to then go through that location to smash your chest and get the reward. So I will be doing guides in that as well to help people out. Next, you've got the photo challenge, which again was introduced in Horizon 4 later down the line. This is really simple. So it normally just gives you a specific criteria of a car to use and a location. And it wants you to take a photo either of that car or any car in a specific area or in front of a specific building, for instance. So again, I do guides for these on my channel. So if you ever struggle with any of them, you'll undoubtedly find these videos every Thursday getting released to show you how to complete it. But they are normally quite easy and quite simple. So, you know, you may not get an amazing prize with it, but it's still worth doing to get the overall sort of points 
added up to your total. Next we move on to the Horizon Open, so this is just online racing. Now this challenge for instance just wanted you to hit 140 mile an hour in an online race. So again it's really easy, so if you hop over to the online tab, onto Horizon Open, it will normally be in the open racing or open drifting. Playground games and the eliminator will not count for this challenge. So you don't need to win the races, I don't even think you need to actually complete them. Just hit a top speed for instance on this challenge of 140 mile an hour and that will be that complete. The next one is the Eliminator. Now, again, this wasn't part of the Forza Horizon 4 Festival playlist, but it is actually quite easy. So these ones seem to just want you to finish in 30th place or better, which is actually really quite simple. You can drive around in the Eliminator without actually bumping into anyone and managing to get up to place 30 um, or less before you even bother getting into a sort of... Uh, head-on race with anyone um so that's actually quite a simple one to do and it shouldn't take too long even if you get knocked out in position 29 not a problem just make sure you finish it off and complete it and don't quit early next there is the collectibles challenge so this again is something new this one for instance wants you to smash 100 cacti so all you have to do is drive around the map and literally smash cactus until you get the challenge complete. So that can change to smash 100 signposts or fences or anything like that or get 25 ultimate drift skills. Really, really easy to do. Now, the last one is the monthly rivals event. Now, this counts towards your score for the entire month once you complete it. So you only need to do this once and you'll see once you've completed it, the next week's score will be at like three points already. So again, it's really easy to do. You can actually change the rival's time if you're struggling against one that the game automatically gives you. Um, and all you have to do is beat the rival's time with a clean lap. So no using the rewind, no smashing into walls or anything like that. It gives you a car, it gives you a track, just beat the rival time and that's that challenge completed. Now, like I said earlier, the treasure hunts are only once every couple of weeks and they make up for that by adding in other challenges. So they've now added in event lab challenges. Now, this is basically where someone else will create an event lab, uh, a new sort of either race or something fun to do to hit a certain skill score, get a certain height on a jump, whatever it may be. So, for instance, in this season, the next two weeks will have event labs instead of having a treasure hunt. But the final week will have the treasure hunt and that's where you'll get all your scores from. So they'll all actually be quite easy. But for the most part, you'll still have your Horizon Trial, the seasonal playground games, three PR stunts and three championship races, the photo challenge, Forza Thon, El uh, Eliminator, etc. It'll all be there and it's all fairly straightforward and easy to follow. Like I said, things like the Forza Thon, the photo challenge and the treasure hunt I will be covering in detailed guides each week uh, that they appear on my channel so you can check them out if you are ever struggling but if you sort of struggle with any of the other challenges but if there is anything that i have not covered in this video and you have more questions as well put them in the comments below and i will answer them um, there may be little bits and bobs that i've missed but i think i've pretty much covered everything involved so that was just a broad view and look at all of the challenges that will be appearing each week and each month in the festival playlist like i said if i've missed anything or anything new crops up just ask away down below in the comments i'm always happy to help as best as i can now if this video did help you out and you did enjoy it i would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and don't forget to subscribe as well also you can follow me on twitter at everything game check out the link in the description and join our horizon 5 car club as well anyway folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care.